This lady really hates it when other black women are using products that one, work really well with our hair, two, that don't break bank, and three, we hardly go to the salon since we are treating our hair better. I don't know what that means. You are such a bitter hater, lady. Well, tell me how you really feel then. Let's talk about it. Trust that exactly where you are is where you're meant to be. So keep your chin up. So your crown doesn't fall. Remember, your royalty. Make sure you're subscribed here to my channel and click on that bell so you're notified whenever I post another video so I don't become a hater, lady. This lady really hates it when other black women are using products that one, work really well with our hair, two, that don't break the bank, and three, we really hardly go to the salon since we are treating our hair better. You are such a bitter hater, lady. T. Rollins came through for your girl and said, I don't think she's hating. She's basically just gives warnings about using fads and jumping on bandwagons. There's a downside to everything and there is no miracle product. So what is hair weathering? Let's talk about that before we jump into me being a hater. Now, in short, hair weathering is the long-term deterioration of the hair shaft. And when the hair shaft deteriorates, when something is deteriorating, it's not something that is going to happen instantly. It's something that will happen gradually, slowly over time, right? So this is why over the years, as I was given this information, people were like, oh, you hate it. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you mad. Because at the time, it was giving people the instant gratification that they needed. The longer that you go into studying the human body, you will learn that most of the diseases that pop up within the human body are caused by long-term damage. It's something that you did long ago that then comes to surface itself later. And that's what hair weathering is all about. Now, when we're talking about apple cider vinegar, we are talking about pure acid okay so in the past when i told you guys not to use apple cider vinegar it was because even though at that time it was feeling good to you guys long term it would cause hair weathering and this is a fact and something that you can research yourself to know that this is a fact if something is going on and let's say you have a toilet bowl or something like that that is clogged most of the time your toilet or your sink is clogged with hair right and the reason that putting apple cider vinegar inside of the sink unclogs the sink isn't because it has this magical unclogging power no it actually weakens the hair shaft and makes it softer and all of the hair or whatever else is inside of the sink that is stopping it up is getting softer and softer and softer making room for it to flow all the way down okay so by you putting apple cider vinegar on your hair repetitively you cause hair weathering see someone that only studies you know film creation and different things like that like a youtuber or influencer hasn't studied the human body so they don't understand why certain products don't work and why certain things shouldn't be put on the hair shaft there is this big thing that took off about moisture and women are obsessed with getting moisture inside of the hair shaft obsessed with letting water to be stored inside of the hair shaft but i want you to look at this picture this is how a healthy hair shaft looks forget about porosity all right because if the cuticle is is closed not sealed but closed properly you can't really tell the level of porosity by simply looking at it on an electron microscope unless it is damaged a damaged cuticle right but if you go ahead and look at this cuticle you can see that it is not thirsting for water to get inside and water Water will sit on top of the cuticle your hair shaft only absorbs 30% of the water that you put on it anything else 
that you are sitting on top of the hair after it's absorbed that 30 percent is only going to cause hydro fatigue and hair weathering because you're forcing the cuticle to stay open and you're forcing the follicle to stay swollen on a follicle level and that is one of the worst things you can do that leads to hair weathering and hair weathering leads to all of these different forms of damage that we have now for me one of the main issues that we have as black women is we love to say that somebody hating on us like I've been out of the industry for about five years from behind the chair, but I didn't leave the industry because I love it so much. And I love black women us so much. And I love us so much that I'm willing to love us past ourselves because I could have gave up a long time ago. That video, I mean, that comment was about a year ago. And the comments that I got on um, rice water and all of the other videos where I tried to teach you guys how to avoid hair weathering, you know, you know that I got attacked for my purpose is so much bigger than my life so I didn't care nothing about that plus people who talk crap online wouldn't bust a grape in a fruit bite I want you to look at this picture I want you to look at how a healthy hair shaft looks this is how a healthy hair shaft looks right the one photo is how a healthy hair shaft looks that cuticle is being handled properly right the cuticle is allowed to open and close it will whenever it wants to it's not being sealed it doesn't have water locked in and that's the thing that most people don't understand about hair if a conditioner tells you guys okay I'm gonna sit it on for five minutes youtubers taught y'all okay I'm gonna leave it on for an hour I'm gonna leave it on for 30 minutes and it's gonna work even more that is not true if a product tells you to use it for five minutes come six minutes hair weathering is going to start setting in period because your hair shaft is only going to absorb, the cortex of the hair shaft is only going to absorb about 30% of whatever moisture you put on it. And it's only taking what it needs. And it doesn't need that much because if you are properly cleansing the scalp and the follicle is clear and your natural oils can come up and you're combing your hair like you're supposed to, well, that's gonna be a whole nother video coming really soon. So keep your post notifications on. But if you're combing your hair like you're supposed to then you don't worry about any of that because we want to have everything being a hack like instead of using shampoo and conditioner how it's normally supposed to be used it's like take the conditioner put an egg in it put some herbs that you know nothing about milk those up put those in it and then stir it all up then put that in your hair no you do not do that because all the conditioner is supposed to do is make it easier for your follicle, um, not your follicle, for your cuticle to slide against each other. The average person has 100,000 follicles on their scalp and each follicle has anywhere between one and four strands, right? That means that the average person has approximately 100,000 to 400,000 strands of hair on their head. So the sebum is coming out of your scalp and you're supposed to comb your hair and have a practice on wash day that makes your hair easily pliable right at the root and this doesn't mean straightening your hair it doesn't mean blow drying your hair whatever you do it needs to be a pattern that is going to make a clear and easy pathway from the sebum from the sebaceous gland across the scalp and on the hair shaft and when you comb your hair this is what keeps you from getting rips and and tears within the hair shaft if the waxy substance that your body creates to coat the hair shaft which is called sebum if that is coating the hair shaft you're not getting all of these rips and tears and tangles and your cuticle opens and closes right so when the sebum is on your hair shaft because you're combing your hair your cuticle opens and closes and receives the amount of sebum that it needs moisture is not classified as water moisture is classified as any substance that can be absorbed huh I'm gonna pop the um, I'm gonna put the definition in the video that I explain what the real definition of moisture is I'll leave that video in the description box below because I went deep into it but moisturizing your hair does not mean sitting water on your hair because after that 30% is absorbed 
and nothing else good is happening it's the same thing for hair color if you um have hair color and it says 45 minutes once those 45 minutes are passed there's no more lift there's no more lift for example if you leave lightener on your head and you leave it on too long at one point it will stop lifting pigment out but if you leave it on too long your hair will fall out because the the color will begin to weather the hair shaft but with chemicals it just happens faster versus with water and highly acidic products it happens slower all right and this is what hair weathering is i'm trying to tell y'all i have been hating on you i have not been hating on any of these youtubers and they team natural things i also need y'all to know even when i was standing behind a chair i'm in las vegas nevada youtubers are everywhere like i still had a full book of clients but just because i do hair doesn't mean that i want to spend my entire career fixing damaged hair like i want to have clients that have beautiful long healthy hair i don't want to be fixing a problem every time i'm doing hair so i would make youtube videos telling you guys about like the different dangers of things so everybody would miss this hair weathering because i don't want to have to be like girl i told you i told you you know what i mean but hey this is where we are so put yourself in my shoes you go to cosmetology school right and then after cosmetology school you are like i'm still hungry like i still want more so you spend thousands upon thousands of dollars on more classes and i learned the real true science of hair so i'm going to teach you something that one of my instructors taught me this is the hair shaft right the photo on the right is a healthy hair shaft and the photo on the left is the hair shaft that has a split it in now most of the time anytime you go and you ask a black woman what is the main reason that she doesn't want to go to a hair salon she's going to say that it's because black hairstylists are scissor happy but if we did the process of elimination and we really sat here and had some accountability what are the practices that most black women are following that lead them to having split ends right because when you go to cosmetology school and then you leave cosmetology school and you keep learning and you keep going deeper you look at stuff like this you learn things like this there is no binding together of this end there's no binding it back together. It doesn't matter what product you put on this hair. It will never ever be back as one. It will continue to split down the hair shaft. This is what your split in looks like under an electron microscope. So for everybody that's like, oh, black women are scissor happy. No, it's just the majority of black women have a lot of split ends and a lot of damaged hair. And I will say maybe some black women hairstylists don't really know how to communicate this that well but in our minds this is what we see when we see split ends it doesn't matter what treatment I give it doesn't matter what conditioner I put on your ends are not going to be back together until they get cut so any product that tells you oh it secures your split ends they're lying to you all that product is going to do is get in between that split and bind it together for a second but I want you to look at the photo and look at the space in between the split that is the the hair's cortex and medulla so remember I told you that the cuticle acts as your hair's skin whereas the inner portion of the hair shaft is like your organs so imagine your split ends being this is gonna sound a little dark but imagine your split ends being the same things as like your guts just hanging out and exposed you don't have no skin no bones no nothing everything is exposed that is what is happening when you have split ends so that's why whenever you see split ends it's not up for debate most hairstylists don't want to entertain the 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 fact of like oh let's try to save it let's cut a little next time it's like no this is what we see in our mind it doesn't matter even if i cut a little bit off i literally did it for no reason i'm telling you anytime that you go into a shop and you like oh can you just cut a little bit today and the rest tomorrow she did it just so you would be quiet because she knows in her mind your hair is still screwed and what she cut that day it's like she never cut it because by 
by the time you get wake up in the morning all of the damage like whatever hair that you had was okay is going to be split even more just from you rolling around and sleeping in the bed this is why you're supposed to trim your hair every eight to ten weeks because once it starts splitting it never stops most people are like oh my god i love apple cider vinegar because it keeps my scalp clean and it keeps my hair clean do you know what else keeps your scalp clean and your hair clean washing your hair on a regular basis and not going three or four months without washing your hair or shampooing your scalp like listen that's it's super easy like you don't have to go through all of these dramatic lens the only thing that you need to do to have healthy hair is to have a clean scalp and by having a clean scalp the sebaceous gland has one purpose and that is to produce sebum and the sebum has one purpose and well a couple of different purposes but it's all made its main objective is to make sure that you're able to have a healthy scalp scalp a healthy hair growth cycle and retaining length but if you keep the follicle and the scalp blocked full of products if you are constantly putting highly acidic products on the hair shaft if you're constantly going to sleep with wet hair if you're constantly going to sleep with conditioner in your hair you will disrupt the natural rhythms of your body it's just as simple as that and that's all I've been trying to say over these years because I've been trying to get everybody to avoid the space that they're in right now at this very second. And of course, we can all get out. But I really like these podcast style videos because every time I'm like thinking of something, I have a thought, I just go ahead, record it, put it up real quick. It don't take that long. I love y'all. I have some really detailed videos, some deep ones coming really soon. Make sure that if you are not already a guru, member that you sign up information in the description box below guru vip guru elite and guru one-on-one check your portals there are new videos there is new content and i'm sure you guys have probably noticed that most of my silk press videos are gone from my channel and they are never coming back you guys ever right unless i'm doing like a reaction video to one of my old videos so if you want access to my old video content then sign up right now for guru elite and on guru elite you get all of my older videos any video that i don't have here on youtube anymore or maybe some videos i just don't want to post here you know maybe the lives that i do that you no longer see they're all on guru elite so if you want to you know help your girl out to support this channel and get some exclusive content i'm talking hundreds of videos like they're over like 800 videos so press videos that have come down and they will all be living on guru elite i love you guys so much and i'll see you there trust that exactly where you are is where you're meant to be so keep your chin up so your crown doesn't fall remember your royalty